Australian, one of the motorsport creations of 2019. And this is one of the most talked about motorsport projects. It is a car that was went up to the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the UK. And we are absolutely stoked to have it here in the Driven Hall at Big Boys Toys. But you don't want Dean Wilson talking about this car. You want to hear from the main man himself. Let's give him a big round of applause. The icon, the motorsport legend. Let's hear it for the one and only man, Mike Wadet. Mike, I love talking about this car, but no one wants to hear from me. And so I want you just to give a little bit of context to this amazing crowd today about how this project came about. And we've all seen the video, the Lamborghini Huracan, it's gonna get the cut. Just take us through a little bit of history, how we came to get to this incredible car. Yeah, so, I mean, we've got this one event, which is like priority one on our schedule, which is Goodwood Festival of Speed. Uh, up in the UK. We've been a part of the event for about six years now. Um, every year we've built a new car, or we've revealed a new car, or we've taken one of our World Championship cars up there. Um, and last year we had uh, this car here, which is the Mad Bull. This is my original, the first drift car. This thing has literally travelled the world with me. It's got more stamps in its passport than most humans. Um, but when we revealed this last year, we got brainstorming at the ball dinner. Um, I was sitting next to Lord March. So, I mean, these guys that run the event are royalty. The Duke of Richmond and Lord March, and they treat me like royalty up there. So super humble to be a Kiwi up there representing our country, representing our team, all our partners, and, and what we do. And yeah, it was simply over a dinner table, brainstorming some ideas. Lord March said to me, how do you build something more ridiculous than the Mad Bull? and uh, I said we built a drift supercar. He literally turned around and tapped the guy on the shoulder which was sitting next to his dad, the Duke of Richmond, and uh, said Mad Mike, meet Stefano, CEO of Lamborghini. Stefano uh, from Lamborghini said, Mike, you need no introduction. I follow you on Instagram and I love what you do. How crazy is that that the CEO of Lamborghini follows myself on Instagram? So we got brainstorming ideas and then six months later, uh, we had delivery of a brand new stock Huracan to Lamborghini in Auckland. Um, I picked it up, I drove it straight back to our home bases at Hampton Downs. I, I bypassed into Mercer School, picked up my son, who's uh, 11 years old, from school in the, in the Huracan, which was pretty cool. And then that afternoon, we put it straight on the track. We put it through its paces. And uh, for you guys that have seen the documentary, um, you would have obviously seen it, but for the guys that haven't seen the documentary, on Red Bull TV, on YouTube now, if you search Mad Mike Lamborghini, we've um, done a documentary on the entire build series, uh, and it goes into depth on the four weeks where this car was put together. Absolutely incredible. So the CEO, Stefano from Lamborghini, follows Mad Mike on Instagram and Facebook. Who here follows Mad Mike on Instagram and Facebook? Okay, we've got some true fans here. There's over 4 million people throughout the world that followed Mike through all these channels. He is one of the most iconic sporting figures in the country. And we're going to get to see this incredible car. I know Ben Campbell's lining up for the perfect shot. And uh, so we're going to just stop it in the shot and then we're going to get Mike in the car. And then we are going to... Well, we might even do something a little bit special, but I'll let uh, the one and only man Mike decide that. So are we... Okay. Okay, no worries at all. We were just looking for that perfect photo. But ladies and gentlemen, you've got to make a lot of noise today if you want to see the covers off Lamborghini Nimbo! Okay, Mike and Tony and uh, the managers of Mad Mike Motorsport, I'll get out of the picture and we are going to see one of the most incredible motorsport projects in 2019. Let's hear it for Tony and Mike, Mad Mike Motorsport. Okay, Mike, just take us through a little bit of the detailing, some of the specs on this car and when we can see this car on the track. So, yeah, we, what we've done here is a lot of work is actually you can't see underneath with drifting. We wanted to turn this Huracan into a drift car, not, a, not essentially a pro drift car for competition, but just a wild street show car that people can enjoy. 
So underneath, um, with the steering geometry, obviously with, with drifting, we want to get as much steering lock as possible. Um, so control arms, steering knuckles, um, the brakes have all changed. We've got hydraulic handbrake. You can peek through the rear wheels and you'll see there's a separate caliper as well. The entire body is carbon fiber um, and then it has alloy subframes. Um, engine wise, the, the factory V10 is a 5.2 litre V10, which had enough power to drift, but myself wanting to just make it more wild, more show, so we've done the exhaust, um, we changed all the ECUs, they're under Cybex ECU, we put nitrous, so it's got a 200 shot of nitrous, which gives us another 200 horsepower at the click of a, on the tip of the throttle. Uh, and then, yeah, cosmetic, obviously, I mean, it's something that I'm a bit of a purist about from um, all the cars for wheel fitment, the design, I work with some amazing partners on our race program that have jumped on board with this project. So even the wheels, looking at the rear wheels, we stylized off the 1970s Lamborghini Contage. The front wheels are stylized off my favorite car on planet Earth, which is the Mazda 787B, which won Le Mans in 1991. Uh, so it's a few different, like different genres of motorsport that have kind of like put into it. But then the, the cosmetics, I mean my trade out of school was sign writing um, and doing vinyl wraps, but this car is 100% uh, painted. So we painted the whole thing with the boys at GT Refinishes, they got a booth down there. Uh, we literally spent four days with no sleep, um, masking it all out, taking all the panels off, and yeah, painting a matte camouflage, and then even airbrushing the weathered look so it looks like it's actually been at war. So it's a bit of... Italian Lamborghini, Italian Eurofighter, which is their Air Force fighter jet, with a bit of Kiwi Mad Mike flavor thrown on it. The camouflage is obviously something which is run in all my pro cars. It's a bit of a signature from when I was a teenager and I couldn't afford flash paint jobs on my old Mazda 33s and stuff. We would just get rattle cans and, and paint them camouflage. So it's kind of like, it's got a mix of all things. Um, and it's, yeah, it's purely for you guys to enjoy. We're gonna have it on track at the Summer Bash, which is my own event on the 7th of December out of Hampton Downs for, for everyone that wants to see it in action, plus all my fleet actually. We've got competitions going on today. If you're purchasing tickets, you can win hot laps. You can literally pick any one of my cars and come out on track. So, um, yeah, it'll be a mega day. Well, an unbelievable day. That is the chance to see it on track at the Mad Mike Summer Bash at Hampton Downs on Saturday, the 7th of December. We've got competitions throughout the day in the Driven Hall of Big Boys Toys. You can win tickets, win hot laps. And is there anything else the crowd wants to see today from Mad Mike and the Lamborghini Nimble? What do you think, Mike? Start it up. Start it? Start it. Yeah, all right. Okay, um, are we asking the Ashton crowd who wants to see Mad Mike start the Lamborghini Nimbo? Yeah. Woo! Okay, I'm going to get blown away by the exhaust. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Whoa!
Tom Bradford. 